in the circuit that I have drawn on the board, you're going to see that along with the voltage source, that we've got two different resistors, but they're all in what we call series connection. In other words, the power coming from the minus side of the battery goes through the ammeter. It's going to go through this resistor, through the next ammeter, through the next resistor, through the next ammeter, and back into the positive part of the power supply. The current then goes all the way through, goes through each series element, and returns to the positive part of the power supply. So as we're talking about this kind of current flow, one of the things that needs to be kept in mind is a very important premise of series circuits is that the current is the same through each series element in this series circuit. It is the same. Taking a look and analyzing this a little bit further, we can use Ohm's law with this. The first thing we need to do in analyzing this circuit is to calculate the total amount of resistance. So as we're looking at that total amount which we need for our calculations, it is actually R1 plus R2 plus any others that could be in series with this particular circuit. So RT in this particular case then becomes R1 plus R2, which is 5 ohms, plus 10 ohms, and we have a total value of 15 ohms in this particular circuit. Remembering that when we're talking about total circuit resistance, we're including all of the drops of current and voltage that could be throughout the circuit. They're all surmised and assumed that they're included in the illustration. So in this particular case then, we now have the total amount of resistance. We find out that it's 15 ohms. And the next thing we need to calculate, since we're given the voltage, is to calculate the circuit current. So I then, called I sub t, is actually going to be equal to the Vt, or Vs, divided by Rt, total voltage divided by total resistance, is going to result in 15 volts divided by 15 ohms, resulting in 1 amper. Because there's one amper flow, it's known that the amount of current is flowing through the meter, one amper, the meter, as the current continues to flow through each load, is also going to be one amper. Next meter, next load, it's all one amper as it goes entirely through the entire circuit. From this illustration, we could also go and examine and take a look at the uh, different voltage drops across these, which I'm going to talk about separately. So right now, uh, understand that when you're working with a series circuit, the current is the same through each series element. 